So we want to set up a very, very simple UI, and we're going to have this UI have a very simple timer on it just for now. So first thing we need to do is we need to right click and add a new layer on top. If you're still on the tile map, just click across one. So we can call this UI, click off it like so, and it might be a good idea at this stage to lock your first layer. So we can't move anything by mistake. Then I'm going to right click, insert new object, scroll down, and we're going to look for text. So I might have passed it. Let me just scroll back up. There we go, text. And we're going to call this timer. So insert. I'm going to have it in the top corner. And we can edit some stuff like its size as well, just by coming down here. So I want the font size to be fairly big. Let's make it even bigger. Let's go 40. And then let's change the size of that. So we're not going to worry about changing the text. I'm going to change the text color. The reason we're not going to change the text is because we're going to have that automated. So now we've got that and we've got it set up on our top layer. We can go to our event sheet and add a new event. So what do we want this event to do? Well, what we want to do is we want to set this up. So we want every second. I want an interval one second. Well, what do we want to do? We want to increase a timer. So before we can actually set up a timer, we need to create a quick variable. So going back to our layout, click on our text, right click. I'm going to add an instance variable. This is going to be a number. This is going to be called time. So it's going to start at zero and it's going to count up every second. So now we've got that set up, we can go back. And every second, we just want to go to timer, scroll down. And we want to add to time, which is a number, and we want to add it by one. So every second, we get a number increased by one. We also want to take the timer, and we want to set its text. So scroll down, and we should have the option to set text. There we go. Set text, and we want this to be equal to our timer. So find expression, timer. Scroll down and time. So we can click on that, press X, timer dot time. Done. So let's test this now. So you see that it says one, two, three, four, and it's counting up. Problem is we can't see it because it's positioned in the top corner only. We want it to follow our player throughout the level. So how do we fix that? Well, it's a very simple change. So making sure we're still on layer one or our ui layer click on that and we've got this option called parallax now parallax means how does it translate to the other layers so at the moment it's translating 100 percent, so it follows the bottom layer exactly what we want to do is actually turn this to zero percent what this means is this whole layer will always follow the player no matter what so anything we put on this first layer on the ui layer We'll follow the player no matter where they are in the level. So let's run this. So we've got our text, one, two, three, four, and it's going to follow our player. Now you might notice it's just text at the very beginning. So we might just want to quickly change that to say zero. So this is a very, very quick and simple timer using a UI setup. So now we've got a UI that has a timer that follows our player around the screen.